this Mass, we pray for all our individual and collective intentions. We pray for God's protection and guidance upon each and every one of us, upon our family members. We pray in a most special way for our country, Nigeria, especially as we prepare to go to the polls by uh, next Saturday for our election. We pray that God will select for us a sincere and committed leader who will lead us to the path that leads to life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Holy Mother who gave birth to the King who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Beloved in Christ, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my ways, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us all our sins, and may he bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that your servants, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of, of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it, the men of old received divine approval. By faith, we understand that the world was created by the world of God, so that what is seen was made out of things which do not appear. By faith, Ebe offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice that, than Cain, through which he received approval as righteous. God bearing witness by accepting his gift, he died, but through his faith, he still speaking. By faith, Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death, and he was not found because God had taken him. Now, before he was taken, he was attested as having pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever will draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Now by, by faith, Noah being warned by God concerning events as yet unseen, took heed and constructed an ark for the serving of his household. By this, he condemned the world and became an heir 
of the righteousness which comes by faith. The word of the Lord. I will bless your name, O Lord, forever. I will bless your day after day and praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is great and highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. Age to age shall proclaim the works, shall declare your mighty deeds. They will tell of your great glory and splendor and recount your wonderful works. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. The heavens opened, and the Father's voice was heard. This is my beloved Son, listening to him. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, Jesus took with him Peter and James and Job and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them and his garments became glistening, intensely white as no fuller on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, and they were talking to Jesus. And Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is well that we are here. Let us make three booths, one for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. For he did not know what to say, for they were exceedingly afraid. And a cloud overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. And suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them, but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, he charged them to tell no one what they had seen until the Son of Man should have risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what the rising from the dead meant. And they asked him, Why do the scribes say that first Elijah must come? And he said to them, Elijah does come first to restore all things. And how is it written of the Son of Man that he should suffer many things and be treated with content? But I tell you that Elijah has come and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written 
of him the gospel of the lord Brethren, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our catechism reminds us that faith is a supernatural gift from God by which we believe without doubting whatever God has done what? Has done what? Whatever God has revealed. And so, in every act of faith, there is always that instrument of conviction or if you like instrument of hope or if you like object of hope faith does not happen in a vacuum there must be something now look at the first reading by faith Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain. Abel was a shepherd. Not so. Cain was what? A farmer. Now, the scripture has it that Abel was prosperous. Also, Cain was equally prosperous. And their prosperity is the instrument of conviction, instrument of hope. But in appreciation to God for that which was already revealed, Cain brought a fattened cow. In fact, the first fruit of what he had. Sorry, Abel. The first fruit of what he had, Abel brought. But Cain brought what? The least. Amen. Amen. Abel brought the what? No. Abel brought what? The fattest. And Cain brought what? The least. Now, the scripture has it that God was pleased with Abel. Was he pleased with Cain? God was not pleased with Cain. Remember, there was already an instrument of hope, which was the prosperity that God has granted to all of them. Now, when you go down, you see by faith, Noah, being warned by God concerning events as yet unseen, took heed and constructed an ark for the saving of his household. God made the earth so beautiful. And the people were enjoying every good thing of life. God only wanted them to do his will. And the prosperity, the goodness, the good things of life was an instrument of hope for the people. It was an instrument of God's revelation for them. But the people decided to be wicked. It was only Noah that chose to be righteous. In our own understanding of a, a little illustration of what faith in God would look like. Take for instance, 
a father who struggles to pay the fees of his son. Now, the father comes in and says that this my son is doing well, he's reading, he's struggling to make the best grade. The father comes to the room, opens the room and sees that the son is reading. The father goes and is very happy. He comes back and sees that my son is struggling so that he will make the best grades. He goes back and is happy. And the son is doing those things because he knows the effort the father is putting to make sure that he pays his school fees. And that is why he is struggling to equally please his father by making the best grades. Will the father not go a long way to providing the school fees of that child? He will. Even if the father does not have the money, he will struggle to make sure that he says, even if it is the last of his property, to make sure that that child goes to the highest of all schools. That is how our faith in God is. Remember, God is not forcing us he has revealed, given us that instrument of hope and revelation. It is for us, out of our free will, to choose to do what is good. As the scripture tells us in James chapter 2, verse 17 and verse 26, that faith without work is what? Faith without work is? What is that work? The work simply means our good deeds. And so, God is pleased with us when we acknowledge the wonders and the awesomeness and the beautiful things that he has created, he has made available for us. In the gospel reading, we see in the event of the transfiguration that Jesus equally handed over to the apostles that instrument of faith. And what was that instrument of faith? Remember that the apostles thought that Jesus was going to be a human king that was going to destroy the Romans and then take over. And he would make them senators and ministers. Remember in Matthew's Gospel chapter 20, 21, when the mother of Zebedee came to Jesus and asked him, allow these my two sons to be one at your left and one at your right in your kingdom. You remember that passage? Because the woman was thinking that Jesus was going to destroy the, the, the Romans and then to be in charge. Jesus knew about that. And that was why he needed to give his apostles something to hold on so that the scandal of the cross will not take away their faith. And so Jesus took them and showed them the glimpse of what the kingdom of God would look like. And that was why after the death of Jesus, his resurrection, when Peter was preaching, he would always refer to that event of transfiguration. They saw it in the mountain. Beloved in Christ, every day of our lives, Jesus continues to reveal to us that instrument of faith, that instrument of his revelation. Look at what is happening in Syria and Turkey. Earthquake. A building like this will just collapse and people will be buried. And these things keep happening after every two, two years or even more. But here we are enjoying good weather. We are gathered here now because God has even given us the good health to worship him. Look at how tense Nigeria is. Yet, we have not scattered. Look at everything going on. Terrible.
terrible things going on in the country. Yet, God is still keeping us. Even the hunger, the lack of money, yet, we still find small things to eat. These things go on to show us how God continues to reveal himself to us. But it is left for us, beloved in Christ, to nurture our faith based on these revelations that are around us. Remember, faith is the assurance of things hoped for. It is left for us to anchor our faith around these beautiful things that God continues to do for us. By doing what? By being good people. By living lives of righteousness. By next Saturday, we will go to the post and cast our votes. No be so. Good. Now, in a very darkened nation like Nigeria, our leaders, most of them have become so corrupt that they are proud of their corruption. And they back their corruption up with the laws. God has provided for us candidates. And in the midst of this, we know the characters of some of these. We know that among these darkened uh, personalities, there are beacons of light. And you can see it. And I can see it. When we look at the antecedents of some of these people that are coming out to be our leaders, we know what they are capable of doing. We know what they have done. We know what they will do. Remember, God has shown us that beacon of light in this candidate. When you go to the polls, are you going to act in accordance with the faith that you have in God? Or you're going to act against the faith that you have in your God? Are you going to vote for someone that has that competence? Someone that has that character? Someone that has that capacity to lead us aright? Are you going to vote for someone that his actions in the past have shown us that this person has conscience for the masses? Or are you going to allow your tribe or wherever that you have come from to lead you to make a wrong choice. Remember, what we do next Saturday will determine how our lives will go on for the next four or even eight years. Beloved in Christ, let us pray through the intervention and intercession of our blessed mother who is the beacon and the perfection of all faith that our faith in God may not fail us. And that as we anticipate to have a change of power in our nation, that through our actions, God is going to select for us a leader who will lead us to the path that leads to life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
There is joy in my heart. It is flowing like a river. I will praise the Lord in time Pray, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Now we trust Lift up your hearts. Your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like you do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving things that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ignatius, our Archbishop, Anselm, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, 
Saint Mark, Saint Teresa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, your kingdom come, your way be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who says to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May we offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Beloved in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May his body and blood heal us and bring us to life everlasting.
Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the children come out. Our help comes from the name of the Lord. Amen. Ever merciful Father, we present these youngsters before your praises this morning. Look kindly upon them. Protect them, O Lord, from every form of evil attack. May their lives, Father, be continuously be in accordance to your holy will. Amen. Protect the lives of their parents. Amen. Defend these children from every sickness that will be above the finances of their parents. Amen. Protect them from every form of negative peer influences. May their lives, O oh Lord, be exemplary to wherever they find themselves. In their community, O oh Lord, in their schools, O oh Lord, wherever they find themselves, O oh Lord, may these children continue to represent your glory. Do not allow the evil one to take away the gift which you have given to these children. Amen. Above all, grant each and every one of them the gift of your heavenly inheritance Amen. through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need a touch from the Master. I need a touch from the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. We want to appreciate the CTV, Catholic Television, for coming to our parish. We appreciate in a special way the Archbishop for this wonderful 
initiative through this people in the archdiocese and everywhere in the world we know that we are existing and so this mass is earth that everywhere people in europe people in america people in india people in china people in different parts of the world we see us today and say oh these people they are worshiping god and then your brother that is in far away uh, where in jerusalem we see you as a Maybe this is my brother be this. So we want to thank the Archbishop for the initiative and the CTV for being the instrument of bringing this initiative to reality. We pray that God will continue to sustain your good works and grant you peace, joy, and sustainability through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we only remind us next saturday is election it is already around the corner for those of us that have pvc go and dust your pvc and look at it very well and know the center that you are going to cast your vote those of us who don't have pvc encourage others encourage others you know hear me encourage others we will continue to talk about it we'll talk about it equally tomorrow encourage others if you don't have remember you have something to tell your brother or your sister that has so that when we go to the poll we'll be able to make the right choice remember it is going to be someone that will move us from consumption to what consumption to what it will not be people that will take us from consumption to subjugation but it will be people that will take off from consumption to where? Production. Production. We pray that God will keep us, all of us in good health. That next Saturday, we will go and cast our vote in peace. And he will select for us the right leader through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As you go, may the Lord bless and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and grant you his peace. May God continue to defend you from every plans of the evil ones. May his favors rest on you, rest on your families. May the good Lord continue to grant you sound health of mind and body. And may the blessings of the mighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you all, both now and and forevermore. Amen. This holy mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Enjoy a beautiful day.